So I got the idea for street art um, because, for two things, I was living in Miami and the Windward Art District is really amazing and they transformed a place that was very sad and and blank into the, like living art and like a world of living art so it was really amazing. And also because I wanted to stop giving students a piece of paper and say you're planning and designing for this and have them really look at the world in which they work and think how they can make an impact on the space around them. To look at the school and see the school as their canvas. For a lot of students, it's kind of giving them an appreciation. Now, art always seems to be something that's in a museum and something that's not something that we own that's tangible to us. And I think by bringing it out and putting it around the school in a, in a way that's very informal and fun and playful, um, it kind of raises the bar for a lot of people to do something that um, feels that they own it, that it feels important to them. I'm really proud with my finished product. Um, I like vintage things, and so I really wanted to um, just do like sort of like a vintage project in a way. And at first, I really didn't know how it was, I was going to achieve that because the space is kind of limited. So I was like, hmm, dancing feet, let's go with that. And I went with it. So yeah. They have a lot of constraints. So you only have the color black and it has to in some way interact with the architecture of the environment. So in some way there should be something that makes people see the school a little bit differently or that some little niche or angle of it a little bit differently. So first, students have to take, um, they have to choose four locations and then for each of the four locations around the school they have to come up with two totally different ideas. They have to then get feedback from other people and um, then choose one to execute. So they have to then work another day to really refine the idea, take measurements, um, understand how big it's going to be, and then they would um, either print out and transfer or project and transfer the digital images onto the, um, the vinyl. So that has to be reversed as well. So there's all sorts of reversals and, and switching and it can be a little bit complicated. And then after that, it's going out into the field and putting it up and um, pressing really hard on it so that it looks like it's a part of the environment. I was pretty excited. Um, I'm not really well versed in Adobe Illustrator, so I think this project really helped me um, find my, my style within it, you know? Um, 